This video explains how to return all rows of a deep layer tibble to the RStudio console. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to install and load the deep layer package as you can see in lines 2 and 3 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 3. And then in the next step, I'm creating an example tibble based on the iris data set and the stibble function, as you can see in line 5 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new tibble object called myTibble is appearing at the top right. And you can already see that this tibble contains 150 observations and 5 variables. However, if we would print our tibble to the RStudio console with the default specifications, as you can see in line 6 of the code, you can see that only the first 10 rows are returned, even though our table contains 150 rows. You can also see that 140 rows are not shown in the RStudio console. So if we want to show more rows of our table, we can use the print function. And within this print function, we need to specify the name of our table. So in this case, our table is called my table. And then we need to specify the n argument. And to the n argument, we need to assign the number of rows that we want to show. So let's assume that we want to print the first 20 rows. Then we can apply the print function as you can see in line 8. So after running this line of code, you can see that the first 20 rows of our table are shown. However, 130 rows are not shown. So if you want to print an entire table to the RStudio console, then you can once again use the print function. However, this time you have to assign the number of rows in our table to the n argument. And we can simply do that by using the nRow function to extract the number of rows of our table. So after running line 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom that the entire table is shown and now you can scroll through your table to see all the values of your table. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.